actress Vilma Bonke really grabbed people's attention with her amazing acting. Whether it was her powerful performances or her captivating presence on screen, Bonke made a big impression in the movies. Maybe you remember the first time you saw her work or a special moment from one of her films that stuck with you. Share your favorite memories and stories about this famous actor below. And don't miss out, because we've got lots of interesting, surprising, and sad facts about her coming up in this video. During the golden age of cinema, there was a shining star whose talent lit up the screen. Vilma Banki, born in Hungary, was an actress who fascinated audiences with her fantastic performances. She appeared in movies during the 1920s and 1930s, bringing grace and skill to each role. Banki had a magnetic presence, drawing viewers into the stories she told with her acting. She could play all kinds of characters, from romantic leads to adventurous heroines, showing her versatility. Bonke's work left a lasting impression on Hollywood, shaping the movies of her time. Even today, fans of film still appreciate her performances, showing how much her work still matters. Vilma Bonke is remembered as an important figure in movie history, and her films continue to be enjoyed by audiences. Vilma Bonke, an actress, faced health challenges in the late 80s. She didn't get much attention from the media or the public during this tough time. Sadly, news of her passing only came out in late 1992. On a different note, she showed her golf skills and won the Women's Golf Championship at the Wilshire Country Club in 1950 and 1951. Even in her 80s, she still loved playing golf. Despite health issues and getting older, her achievements in golf and acting are impressive. Vilma Bonke's determination is inspiring for those going through tough times, reminding us that true strength comes from pursuing our passions despite obstacles. This story tells us about an extraordinary person whose influence reached beyond the screen and the golf course. It's a story of human strength and never giving up. In 1927, actress Vilma Bonke tied the knot with fellow silent film star Rod LaRoque. Their marriage was arranged by their studios to boost their careers. The wedding, held on the soundstage, was like a Hollywood movie premiere. Guests even sat in cheap seats and were served fake chicken made of papier mash. Despite starting as a publicity stunt, their marriage lasted almost five decades until La Roque passed away in 1969. During the wedding, famous people played key roles. Samuel Goldwyn walked Bonky down the aisle, Cecil B. Demel was the best man, and Loella Parsons was the matron of honor. When Samuel Goldwyn first met Bonke, she didn't speak English. Determined to help her, he taught her to answer all reporters' questions with lamp chops and pineapple. Throughout Bonke's career, she interacted with many influential people from the silent film era. Her marriage and wedding remained part of her story in Hollywood. After finding success in silent films during the 1920s, Vilma Bonke, a prominent actress in early Hollywood, struggled as sound movies became popular. This change made it hard for her to get roles and caused financial problems. She tried to adapt to the new demands of the movie industry, but it was tough. Vilma faced personal issues too, feeling the pressure of fame and dealing with the changes in her career. Despite these challenges, Vilma didn't give up. She looked for other opportunities, but things didn't improve much. Her story shows how fame can be fleeting and the entertainment world can be tough, even for someone who was once very successful. Vilma Bonke's life reminds us that success doesn't always last, and famous people can have difficult times too. She showed resilience in dealing with the ups and downs of life in the public eye. Vilma Bonke was chosen by Rudolf Valentino himself to star in his last movie, The Son of the Sheikh. Her wedding to actor Rod LaRocque was paid for by producer Samuel Goldwyn and was known as one of Hollywood's biggest parties back then. Her first movie with sound, This Is Heaven, was tough because people could barely hear her Hungarian accent. So, her career in silent movies didn't last when talkies came in. She made her very last film only four years later in 1933. People loved watching Vilma Bonke on screen because she made them feel like they were in the romantic stories she acted in. Her partnership with Valentino was famous for their great chemistry. But when movies started using sound, she couldn't keep up. Even though she was really talented, she couldn't adjust to the changes in the movie world. The industry moved on to talkies quickly, leaving silent film stars like her behind. Vilma Bonke's time in movies was short, but she'll always be remembered for her bright presence and her part in Hollywood's golden age. This story, with its ups and downs, shows what happened to many stars as the movie business changed. 
Vilma Bonke, known as the Hungarian Rhapsody, gained fame in Hollywood during the silent film era mainly because of her stunning looks. However, when movies started including sound, her inability to speak English became a big problem and her popularity declined. In the film The Son of the Sheikh, she played the role of Yasmin, chosen by Rudolf Valentino himself as his leading lady. This movie was Valentino's last. After she passed away, Vilma Bonke left behind a lot of money. She and her husband set up a foundation to help educate children. To sum up, Vilma Bonke, dubbed the Hungarian Rhapsody, became famous in Hollywood for her beauty. Even though she couldn't speak English well, she played a vital part in Rudolf Valentino's final movie. When she died, she left a significant amount of money, and her work continues through the foundation she and her husband created to help children get an education. Vilma Bonke, the actress, teamed up with her husband for a play called The Cherries Are Ripe in the early 1930s. This unique partnership lasted only from 1930 to 1931. Although they were married, they didn't often work together. Instead, Vilma mostly pursued acting on her own, showing her talent and making a significant impression on the entertainment industry. While they didn't collaborate much, Vilma's work on her own was remarkable, establishing her as a talented performer. Her influence lives on as a reminder of her impact on the movie world. Through her acting, she mesmerized audiences and made a lasting mark on cinematic history, a legacy that still matters today. This story of Vilma Bonke's career journey reminds us of her lasting influence on entertainment. Vilma Bonke, a notable actress of the silent film era, faced a shocking and tragic event in her life. Despite her successful career, she experienced personal sorrow when her husband, actor Rod LaRock, faced financial difficulties due to the Great Depression. This unexpected turn of events led to significant challenges for the couple, impacting both their professional and personal lives. The once prosperous Hollywood stars found themselves struggling to maintain their previous lifestyle amidst the economic downturn. This unforeseen hardship left a lasting mark on Bonke's life, overshadowing her achievements in the film industry. Despite her resilience, she couldn't escape the harsh realities of the era, highlighting the fragile nature of success in the tumultuous times of the 1930s. Vilma Bonke, a celebrated actress from the silent film era, had a sorrowful secret in her life. Despite her successful career and many fans, she experienced a heartbreaking tragedy. After retiring from acting, she disappeared from public life, choosing to live quietly away from the spotlight. However, beneath her graceful exterior, she carried deep sadness. Despite her lively performances in movies, she struggled with the loss of her husband, fellow actor Rod LaRock. Their love story was tragically cut short by his early death. Vilma retreated from public view, carrying her grief alone. Despite her pain, audiences continued to admire her talent and presence on screen. The loss of her husband remained a painful part of Vilma's life, shaping her story long after she left Hollywood.